Hundreds of women and children have sought sanctuary next to this small United Nations base after fleeing a surge in violence across the unity region of South Sudan. So people are being killed outside. They say that sometimes they hang you. The fighting has been brutal, causing immense suffering. This little girl was shot during the clashes. Many humanitarian workers have pulled out of the area because of ongoing fighting between government and opposition forces. The UN Special Representative of the Secretary-General has flown in to talk to the warring parties in the hope they will lay down their weapons and build peace. The intensification of the conflict on the ground here has this huge human impact. A little girl with a bullet fortunately went right through her, through her stomach and out her back and, and she's still alive. And uh, But I mean that's just one example of dozens around here and we know that Hundreds, if not thousands, of people have fled into the swamps. They're living on islands, living on wild vegetables and fruit, uh, just to try and stay alive and just just to stay out of the uh, of the conflict at the moment. Lear Town is held by the government, which blames rebels and young cattle raiders for the violence. We continue advising them that listen to the voice of our president, so that we can go to the negotiation table to discuss and to see the possible solution without fight. I hope. Peace is here and we, we, we are the people who will bring peace. Together with our president, uh, with our leadership, uh, we will manage to bring peace. Just a few miles away in opposition territory, they say the government is targeting people in villages across the region. The local governor says the community is desperate for peace. The soldiers will come and look for the IO soldiers, not IG and come and, and kill the children, kill the, the, the old women kill the old men and then and destroy everything like now. They burn all the houses. They destroy everything, even the borehole. They are now broken. When they are finished, and then they go back, and then they will uh, broken because people will not come and, and take them and drink water here. UNMIS is intensifying its patrols to protect civilians and to monitor and report human rights violations. It is supporting the safe delivery of humanitarian aid and will continue to work with local communities to end the hostilities and build durable peace for the sake of the people.